Hi, I'm Mark, and this is Subliteral Network. I'm in art and comics, and thanks for watching. Remember to hit like and subscribe, and to leave your feedback in the comments. Now, I post art daily, five days a week, on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and this is our roundup of that work, in case you missed it, with a little more detailed description added. You can read my Una the Cave Bunny comics free at radiocomics.com, and please watch for my one-shot comic called Searchers, coming September 18th at BurningStarComics.net. Please visit my Patreon page if you'd like to support my work, and all these links are in my description and bio. And please watch till the end so you don't miss anything. So here is my finished ink drawing uh, for my latest uh, drawing of Della the Head Witch from the Sabrina comics published by Archie Comics. Like I've said before, uh, Della has worn maybe dozens or at least a dozen different outfits over the run of her appearances in uh, uh, Sabrina. And I'm sort of determined to do all of them. I was a lot more determined before I found out there was at least 12 of them. But I'm gonna give it a shot. And uh, this is the inks of the latest version that uh, I'm working on. Now here's a very small ink sketch that I did with my fountain pen on a two and a half by three and a half inch uh, sketch card sized piece of uh, Bristol board. So I just started scribbling up in the corner of it and just sort of, as I was scribbling, I'm thinking and I'm developing this idea and I'm adding elements and I'm thinking, I, I almost never draw this way, but a lot of people do this all the time. They just jump right onto a piece of paper with ink and I, I realize the value of that and I'd love to do more of that. And this is my start of doing something like that and it, the hardest thing is to stop yourself from drawing something <laughs> you know from coming in and drawing according to the tropes and uh, cliches and habits that you have what's cool about it sometimes for me is that it looks like somebody else drew it and I'm that is I, I really want to have the excitement of seeing a new piece of art but the without having put any effort in it myself. So it, it, it sort of fulfills that uh, kind of feeling for me. And I gotta do more of this because when I get something nice, I wanna keep doing it. But I, I really have to resist the temptation to, to just start drawing something that I think is gonna be cool rather than really just letting go and letting the pen sort of go according to just sort of me not thinking too much about it. So one of these days, I'm gonna really pull it together and start doing drawings uh, with my uh, fountain pen, my actual fountain pen, and uh, the ink brushes that I have and the bottle inks. And I'm gonna start doing some real art with it. But until then, I'm doing these uh, just quick sketches with those two ink materials. Uh, because I really like the way it looks. Uh, I might have mentioned it before, I'm a, a real fan of Jordi Bernays uh, art that he did on the uh, torpedo strip uh, European comic. And I love just the snap and the excitement and the beauty of the lines that he gets. He's just so quick and accurate and uh, beautiful that I would just really love to do that. I started out, you know, drawing like everyone else uh, back in the old days with uh, uh, dip pens, you dip them in the bottle of the ink. They're steel pens and you draw with them until they run out of ink and you re-dip them and with brushes, uh, inking with brushes. And I stopped doing it because of pigment liners, uh, they dry faster, uh, it's harder to screw up with them and you know for all those reasons and I just my ink pens just went by the wayside for you know for for that reason. So I'm gonna keep doing these, but I'll only show the ink drawings that come out nice, you know, in the way I like them. Uh, why would I show my garbage to you? But, uh, so yeah, that's how it's gonna be. I'm only gonna show the ones that uh, I really like, and uh, this happens uh, to be one of them. This is the Phantom Lady, a Golden Age comic book character who had a slightly different outfit. Uh, I think it must have been back in the 30s, but she didn't have that, uh, open hole in the front or the uh the green goggles that she has on that came later when somehow dc comics got control of the character they might have gotten her during the uh faucet buyout in which they acquired captain marvel um maybe maybe not, i'm not quite sure on that there's a whole history but i drew her uh in 
her uh, DC Comics outfit with the Golden Age colors uh, in one of those 1930s style apparel things with the you know fire in the background she's tied to a pose. So most of the time when I do these little two and a half by uh, three and a half inch uh, sketch card pieces of art it's just something I'm doing that I can uh, work on quickly a quick idea that I had and I do it sometimes if I'm you know if I'm working on something all day or I just want to relax and draw something sort of simple I'll just whip out one of these sketch cards which I make when I cut down my uh, full-size pieces of Bristol board I take the scraps and uh, if they're the right size I'll just cut the sketch card uh, sketch uh, sketch card size pieces out of them if you look up any of those old DC comics I think were they Justice League or something she, I, she might even have had her own comic for a while but the ones back in the 90s she was really hardly wearing anything at all they just don't make comics like that anymore really nowadays it was during the 90s when most of the uh, superheroines and, and uh, comic book heroines were showing a lot more skin uh, that's all gone it's called it's all in the past now and all that's left is my sketch card here i'd like to thank you my subscribers and especially my new subscribers i'm very happy you enjoy hearing something more about the work that i'm doing and i hope the videos are entertaining and i really hope you can come back for more